Hello, Bob Allison here, WB1GCM in the ARL screen room. Let's take a look at those two low-priced digital storage scopes. Well, here's the Regal scope. It's very lightweight, has the handle on the top, adequate ventilation here. There's your power button. It has two little feet that prop up underneath. USB connection here, typical scope controls here. On the side, we have AC power connection, RS-232, another USB here, and a test jack. Well, let's turn the Regal on. Comes up fairly quickly, as Phil mentioned in the article. The buttons are colorful. Here we have the calibrated square wave here, dual trace scope and press channel 2 to adjust the vertical position here up and down uh, channel 1 up and down here and the buttons are nice have nice feel to them press them once for your data here your acquisition uh, measurement buttons you want to measure voltage you go down here and just cycle through it'll mention what the voltages are measured here cycle through voltage minimum here uh, voltage peak to peak it'll just cycle through and and give you the information press it again to get out of that two channel scope uh, this particular scope has a fan built in you'll hear it quietly running in the background but it'll add some noise to your workbench overall though a very functional scope very useful and affordable and here's the Tektronix scope. It has more knobs and buttons than the Regal does. It has the USB connection here for the flash drive. Again, a dual trace scope. Let's take a look at the top. We have a handle. Ventilation here. On-off button is here. No fan in this one. Little feet that pop up for a better viewing angle. And like the Regal, we have the AC power back here and another USB connection. Well, here's the Tektronix. Uh, it's on now, operating. It does take a little longer to boot up than the Regal does. And like the Regal, it comes with uh, the probes, and we have uh, another one it comes with it, so it comes with two. And uh, more knobs means it's a little bit more flexible, a little easier to operate, and the controls are fairly smooth. Up and down we go on channel two, channel one moves up and down here. We're looking at the square wave output, the calibrated output on the screen here. Flash drive goes in here to retrieve data, or you can actually print out what's on the screen with this print button. Overall, a very useful and affordable scope with many qualities of the more expensive Tektronix series scopes. Well, it wasn't too long ago that scopes were much, much larger. The one I used as a kid had 40 tubes in it. <laughs> but now they're much smaller, lightweight, and have greater bandwidth. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, at the ARL Laboratory.